kiss for you. Hello, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part three of my video series on online Firebase music player app using Android Studio. All right, guys. So, in this video, we are going to start working on our project. So, first of all, without wasting any time, let's go to our main activity. And here you can see we have the relative layout. And now we need to remove this text view. And then instead of this. Uh, relative layout we will have, I mean, we will need to have the linear layout and the orientation of that will be vertical so I will write orientation and it is vertical then here we will be having a linear layout again and it will be match parent and the height will be wrap content then this will be margin top will be 10 dp and let's set the orientation to vertical also and inside this linear layout we are going to have uh, is the text input layout and it will be match parent wrap content then there will be some uh, some of the values and then we will have text color print and it will be black color then we can okay so inside this text input layout we will be having the app compact edit text so here we can say app compact edit edit text and the width will be match parent and the height will be wrap content then this will be song title and then we will have uh, the theme okay so here we just need to use it and let's set the id because we will be requiring the id so it will be song title all right then after this text input layout field we will have some uh, some space so here we will have a view which will be match parent and it will be 10 dp then after this we will have the another linear layout and it will be Let me set it. All right, so here we will have the view, and after this what we are going to have is the another linear layout and it will be match parent wrap content and this time the orientation will be horizontal and inside this uh, linear layout we will have the button to upload the song so here we can say button and the width will be wrap content as well as the height will be wrap content then we can say text Song. Then we will have text size to 16 SP and let's just close that and then we will have the text view which will have the name or the title of the file. So here we can say match parent web content. Then we can say margin start to 10 dp. Then we can say gravity to sorry, gravity will be centered. And let's set text to no file selected. And 
also let's set the ID to test on file selected. All right, guys. So after that, this linear layout will be closed, and then we will have another. Uh, okay, so here we will have a progress bar, and that will be main parent wrap content. Then the, we need to set the style, and the style will be style slash widget dot app. Compact dot progress bar dot horizontal. Then we can set the ID to progress bar, and then we can say margin top to 10 pp. Then after this uh, progress bar, we are going to have a Button, so we can say button and it will be match parent wrap content then it will be margin top will be 10 dp then the we can set the text to upload and after this upload we can simply say text file will be bold all right so I think that is it for the layout. So first of all, the user will be enter the name of the song. Then he will click on upload song. Then the uh, it, he will pick the he will pick the MP3 file from the uh, his phone directory. Then this uh, text will be shown here. The uh, title of the song will be shown here. And when he will try to click on upload, so the, the song will be uploaded to the Firebase database. So for that, so now go to main activity and before that go to main go to manifest file and here you need to add this permission. You need to have the permission of internet and then we also be having to let me see which are the uh, let me just write External storage. So here we need the external storage permission. And after that, here inside our main activity, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to utilize our view. So first of all, we have the app compact edit text, edit text title. Then we will have a couple of other things so first of all we will have the also we will have the text view so we can say text view and here text view image then we will have the progress part and okay so now we can first of all initialize our views so first of all inside this one create method we are going to have is edit text Title equal to add compact edit text. Then we have find view by id uh, dot id dot song title. Then we will have the text view image and that will be text view find view by id uh, dot id dot text view song file selected. Then we will have the progress bar as well. So we can say progress bar equal to progress bar find by id r dot id dot progress bar. Alright, so after that, now we are we need to uh, write a method to, so that the user click on the button and the he, he can be able to um, pick. And MP3 file. So for that, we can simply void open audio file, and here we can view object. So here, in order to open the MP3 from the gallery, so you can use intent. So I can say intent i equal to 
name intent and inside that we can say intent dot action get content then we can say i dot set type and the type will be audio and we can say all the types of the audio then we can say start activity for results and here we can pass our intent then the result will be 101 the request code then we now need to have the on activity result method and inside this method we are going to check if request this request code equal to 101 and result code equal to result ok and the data dot get data if not equal to null then we can simply say ok so now we can get the uri of the pick uh, audio so for that we can write uh, uri audio uri then we can we can say audio uri equal to data dot get data and then we can here say string file name now we need to expect the file name of this uh, of the picked image so we can create a new method that will fetch the file name so we can say get file name and here we will pass the URI. So let's now create the method that will return us the file name. So here we have okay so here we can say string result equal to null first of all the result will be null and we can say if okay so let's just change the audio uri to simple uri then we can say if uri dot get scheme dot equals content Cursor equal to get content resolver and we can say dot query and inside that we can pass our URI then we can pass four null values and after that we can now check that if the cursor is not equal to null and the cursor is moved to first so we can say if cursor is not equal to null then we can also say cursor dot move to next uh, okay sorry so move to first so here we can say uh, if it moves to first then we can say result equal to cursor dot get string and inside that we can say cursor dot get column index or throw okay so simple uh, get column index and here we can say open open columns dot display name alright so we need to use the try and catch block try and here we can use the finally method so we will write this if statement inside our else part uh, i mean if part then inside this finally part we just need to close our cursor so we can say cursor dot close then after this if statement we can now check if result equal to null if the result is uh, if null then we can say result equal to uri dot get part and we can simply 
So in this way we can fetch the file name of the file which the user has picked. So now we are back to our in our own activity research method. So what we are going to do now we just need to set the text view to our uh, the file name to our text view. So we can simply say text view image set text and here we can pass the file name all right so now the user can pick any mp3 file then the file will the we will have the link to the file with the help of uri and now we need to uh, write the method to upload this file so here let's write the method and the method will be upload audio so here we can say public void upload audio to file base and now when the user will click on upload the upload button so now the song will be uploaded to the file base database so here first of all we can check if the user has selected the mp3 file or, uh, or not so it is a very easy way so we can check if text view image dot get text dot to string dot equals no file selected then it means that the user has not selected an image so we can post a message that please select image then we can simply say in our toast message then inside our else part we now can upload the file so we can write it in the in a separate method so we can create the method uh, we can create the method of upload file and okay so inside this upload file method we are going to uh, upload the file so here first of all we can check if audio uri is not equal to null so it means that we have this mp3 file pointing towards so here we can say before relation text Okay, so I think I we don't need the duration uh, or we need it. Okay, so okay, so let's just have it for now. So here we can put a message uploading please wait. And now after this uh, message, what we are going to do is first of all we are going to start our progress bar. So we are going to visible it. Then, okay, then we need a file based storage reference. So, first of all, we will have the storage reference. So, first of all, we can say storage reference and we name it as M storage ref. And then we will have another thing that is storage task. And it will be equal to an upload task. Okay, so we will require it later, but let's just initialize it here. So after this, what we are gonna do? Um, okay, so here inside our upload file method, um, all right. So here we now need to have storage reference another storage reference that will be storage reference equal to one storage ref dot child and here we can say system dot current timing release okay so after this uh, current timing in release we can now say plus then we can say 
uh, okay so here we can say dot and then we can say get file extension we now need to get the file extension and then we are need to pass the audio uri to that method all right so now we need to fetch the file extension so we create this uh, file extension method get file extension Alright, so inside the get file extension method, we are going to use the content resolver. So we can say content resolver content resolver equal to get content resolver. Then we can say mine type map and mine equal to mine type map dot get single singleton then we can say return mime dot get extension from mime type and here we can pass our content is over dot get type and here we can pass the audio uri alright so this method will return us uh, okay so it is saying me an error so let's see what is the error okay so it will be of type string and now the error is removed okay so after this uh, file phase i mean file storage okay so now we need to find the song duration so in order to find the song duration what we are going to do is Okay, so now we can say in duration in release equal to and we can say find song duration and here we can pass our audio URI. So now we are also need to create this method that will return us the find uh, song duration and then we can get it from the metadata class. So we can say in time in music equal to zero then we can say try inside this try now we can say media metadata retriever retriever equal to new media metadata retriever then we can say retriever uh, dot set data source and we can say this and audio URI then we can find the time so we can say stream time equal to retriever dot extract metadata and then we can say metadata retriever and instead of this uh, metadata key album we say metadata key duration And then we can say time in millisecond equal to integer dot sorry integer dot parse int and here we can pass the time and finally we can just uh, release the retriever so we can say release and we return time in millisecond. And inside this uh, catch block, we can catch the exception using this. Then we can say in our print statement, string track trace, and return zero. All right, guys. So after we fetch the song duration, what we are going to do now? Okay, so here we can make a check if duration in millisec equal to zero. It means that it could not find the duration. So we can say duration text equal to NA. Then we can say duration text equal to get duration from release. And here we can 
pass our duration in millis. All right. So here we, again we need to create this method that is get duration from millis. So here we can first of all say date date equal to date and here we can say duration millis. Duration in millis then. We can say simple date format simple equal to new simple date format then we can say mm s s then we can say local dot get default then we can say string my time equal to uh, okay simple simple dot Format and you can pass our date here. And finally, we can just return our my time. Okay, so after that, after we get the duration text, what we are going to do is we are now going to okay, the video is a bit very long. So, okay, so here I stop it and we will try to continue in our next part of the video so guys if you like the video please like share it and subscribe goodbye